Hi, welcome once again to the Humble Watch Guy and my watch review channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a watch that was specifically requested by a couple of um, my followers on my Instagram account. After seeing this particular watch, they requested that uh, I did a YouTube review. So what have we got? We're looking at a quartz watch. And for those of you that know me, you'll realize that I'm not a big fan of quartz watches in general. However, let me go through this one. This is the Lars Larsen. And the model number of this one, or the model name of this one, is the Alex. Now, a little bit of background on Lars Larsen. Um, the company Lars Larsen was founded in Svendborg in Denmark in 1919 by Lars Larsen, the senior. Um, the watches were handcrafted in Denmark. Now, a bit more up to date, they were the company was reinvented in 2002 by uh, his grandson, also called Lars Larsen. Uh, and all of their watches are named after Danish names, uh, male and female names. And as I say, this particular model is called the Alex. Female versions are like the Carolyn and things like that. But this com this one is the Alex uh, male watch, although because of its size, it could be unisex. Um, the company nowadays have changed their name. They're no longer called Lars Larsen. Uh, they're called Larsen with two L's. So it's the same company, just a slight rebranding. And their designs are still around Danish aesthetics and pure Danish craftsmanship. So let's have a look at this one. It's the Alex. Dimensions of this one are, it's got a 41 millimeter case. It's 10 millimeters thick. Turn that to the side there. You can see it's 10 millimeters, nice and thin. The lug width is 20 millimeters. Lug to lug comes in at 48 millimeters. It has a 50 meter water resistance, sapphire crystal, and anti reflective coating. So the spec is very, very good. Now, when I was researching Lars Larsen watches, and this one in particular, it was very difficult to identify exactly what the movement was. Yes, it's a quartz movement, but the original advertising on the Lars Larsen site when they were advertising this model identified it as being a Swiss quartz movement. Didn't go any further than that, but I would hazard a guess and say it's probably a Ronda movement. Now, of late, when I've read reviews of these, they've claimed the movement is a myota quartz movement so either way you're getting a very good quartz movement and not just a Chinese copy movement or a, a cheap manufactured movement so the watch itself comes in four different colorways this is the white version they also made this in green blue or black now let's have a closer look at it because I wanted a watch when I chose this. I wanted one which gave me the same sort of feeling as like a Nomos. Very minimalistic, quite simple to look at. And I thought this really struck me as being a very similar sort of movement, uh, sorry, design to that. We've got, um, they are, despite what they look like here, they're actually applied indices. It took me a little while to look at that. I thought they were printed. But when I looked close, I don't know whether you can see it. Let me go in here. They are actually little stainless steel strips. You can't really pick it up, I'm afraid, on this. But they're actually stainless steel strips. And the minute markers are raised slightly, little raised dots. Now, I don't know whether you can see it here. I'm going to try and change the angle a little bit. But where the minute marker track is, it's actually recessed a little bit. Let me go in a little closer and just see if we can pick that up. I'm not sure we can. No, it's not really going to allow that. Um, you might pick it up in some angles, but let's have a look. No. 
but it actually gives a nice depth and originality to the dial here. You can pick up there the beautiful anti-reflective coating on the sapphire crystal. So yes, what we've also got, sapphire crystal, anti-reflective coating. Now, right from the beginning of this, I mentioned that I'm not a big fan of quartz watches in general. However, this one really does set it off beautifully for me. It's got all of the features that I will be looking at from a, a good quality watch. Sapphire crystal, anti-reflective coating, beautiful stainless steel case. And now it's a real premium grade stainless steel case on this one. And it feels very heavy. It feels very, very good quality. You've got beautiful stainless steel batten hands and second hand. Very minimalistic dial. It's a very slight dome on this and um, sapphire crystal. So when you go to angles, you do get a slight distortion, but nothing really to worry about. So it's a very, very nice looking minimalistic watch. You can see the only writing on the dial is Lars Larsen, Denmark, with the Danish flag underneath it. You have a date complication, so the date is set at the three o'clock position. While I've got it this way, just have a quick look at that case because it's very lightly brushed, very lightly brushed indeed, and it gives it a really classy, dressy type feel. And what they've done just on the lugs, they have made a chamfered edge and highly polished that. So we have the brushing on the top just here and down the chamfered edge is a beautiful polished section which goes around the top of the watch there very very lovely lovely attention to detail there now let's turn it over before we do let's have a quick look at the crown the crown is very nice indeed knurled on the edge and quite nice to grip not massive and maybe could have been a touch bigger Maybe that's just me being picky. The crown is signed and you can't really pick up the logo there. But let me turn it over and you'll see what the logo is, because what you've got here are three lions, beautifully engraved case back. And it's lovely quality. You've got like a beaded, bead blasted center with a polished logo embossed logo on there and you've got the details around the back which basically says designed in Denmark 5 ATM water resistant stainless steel case it's a compression back so it's very clean very crisp what I would say with this when I change the battery on this one unless you've got a compression tool it's best to take this into a watchmaker to get it uh, a new battery fitted because trying to get the case back on once you've taken it off is very very difficult indeed very difficult i've had this pressure tested whilst i was in there to the 50 meters and no problems but it's only a uh, an in-shop water resistance test with air rather than water so there we have the alex from lars larsen a beautiful what I would class as a dress watch, very stylish, lovely angles, wears beautifully on the wrist. Let me just put it on so you can see how it looks. So just bear with me one moment while I negotiate this strap and put it on so you can see it on my wrists. And there you have it. You've got, let me just change the angle there for you. It wears very, very nicely indeed. Very nicely. Very comfortable. Let me take that back off again. Bear with me one moment. Now this strap that's on here now isn't the strap that came with it. Let me put this aside one moment and I'll show you the strap that came with it because you will then see why I changed it. And it also highlights another area that I wanted to with regards to straps and watches. And now this is the strap that came with it. It's a white alligator leather style strap. It has the signed buckle, Lars Larsen. 
it's a genuine leather strap and it's signed Lars Larsen Denmark quality isn't that great it's padded yes of course but nothing nothing special on this strap at all and let me just hold it up against it and you'll see it totally changes the look of the watch I didn't like the white strap on there now I was fortunate enough to have a strap sent to me from a new watch company from Australia called second hour watches and Peter Sargason sent me this strap which is uh, signed with the second hour logo on the bottom there quick release pins very very thick beautiful beautiful leather strap and so Peter sent me that from Australia and I think it suits the watch perfectly it's absolutely beautiful really classy and I think changing the strap on this watch totally changes the look of it very very classy beautifully dressy quality now for a watch which when they originally were released were about 139 pounds they then went up to around about 200 pounds they're discontinued now but you can still pick them up on various websites for around about 175 pounds now whilst that's i think a lot for a quartz watch I think the quality of this watch, the feel of it, the construction, it's very solid, very classy, dressy, very minimalist. It reminds me, as I say, of the, the feel and the look of a, a Nomos or a stone glass. They're very, very similar in my opinion, uh, the minimalist design. But this one at a fraction of the cost, wears beautifully, looks classy gets a lot of compliments and has got an awful lot of features for me ticks every box well worth checking out i'm grateful for a couple of friends of mine on the uh, instagram average watch joe average joe watch reviews and um a, a guy called ejel um on there that requested the reviews so thank you for spurring me on to do this one i hope you like it Stay safe, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what I've done, please hit that subscribe button and the bell to notify when I upload more videos. In the meantime, stay safe. Remember, the best gift you can gift is the gift of time. Stay safe, everybody. Thank you.